dads in the neighborhood. And William Galston, who's a, you know, a liberal, who wrote for the Wall Street Journal just a couple of months ago, and he, he wrote on an article talking about how fatherlessness has an impact disproportionately on young males, much so much more so than young females. And that, that, that fatherlessness has a profound impact on, on, on crime statistics in America. So we can talk all we want about controlling guns and controlling this and doing that or punishing this and punishing that. But unless we, unless we stem this increasing tide, Daniel Patrick Moynihan wrote a, wrote a very controversial article back in the in book in the, in, the la, in the late 60s talking about the crisis in the black family. And he was talking about that this is going to be you know, devastating for the black family, that it reached 25% of children in, the black, in black America were born out of wedlock. It's now over 70%. In neighborhoods, there simply are no people who are married, and there are no dads who are involved and engaged in their children's lives. And if 25% if was devastating, imagine 100% in some communities. The reality is, if we continue to ignore this problem, and we are, we're doing nothing. We're doing absolutely nothing. We won't even talk about it, because if you do, someone will say, well, you're, you're, you're pointing the finger at single moms. No, I'm not. Single moms are the ones who are, who are bearing the brunt of this problem. My heart goes out to them. They're standing by their kids. They're trying, most, most of them are working double, two jobs and trying to manage a family and doing everything. And, and we, just, we just say, well, you can't talk about it because you don't, you don't want to say anything wrong about that situation. The bottom line is these moms need help. These communities and these kids need fathers at, in, involved. And we have to start nurturing and, and suggesting to our, uh, as, as part of our, of our message to America, as part of what the, what the uh, not just the political class, but the popular culture, what educators, businesses, we have to start focusing on, this is, a, this is the central core problem of, uh, of our, our education problem, our criminal justice problem, our gun problem, our healthcare problem, all has to center around a, dis a, a, a declining, healthy family structure. And you say, well, what can we do about it? The answer is actually pretty simple. 